Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Peter. I am a Quicken and a QuickBooks bookkeeper. And the sole purpose of this video today that is I'm gonna show you how you can pick uh one of the common issues with QuickBooks tech stuff, which is QuickBooks get free stuff when you're trying to run. And with the help of today's video, you will be able to get it resolved. Like uh, I will troubleshoot a couple of the major troubleshooting steps that I generally do with my clients when they face this kind of an issue. So in order to to like uh, ensure that our QuickBooks is not getting free stuff continuously. So what we need to do first, the first step is to open QuickBooks and uh, before we start doing any kind of a troubleshooting step, my recommendation to you is to create company file backup just to be on the safer side if there would be any kind of a fallback in between this troubleshooting. So you were going to have all kind of a backup of your company file. Okay, so I'm doing it with the company file here. Uh, this is a tech company file and uh, I'm recording this video with QuickBooks 2019 but if you're using the latest product let's say 2024 or any of the latest product for your QuickBooks tech stuff these steps can be followed so first in order to make sure we can create a quick backup for our company file so in order to create a backup go to file backup company create local backup then click on next choose the location where you would like to create a backup I will gonna say uh, like uh, this PC at this oh sorry desktop at this moment and i'll click on okay and use this location and click on next and then i will say save it will gonna take a couple of minutes or depending on your company file size if the file size is big it may gonna take some time and the reason why quickbooks get disturbed when you are trying to work on it there are many possibilities one thing or one possibility could be like uh, your quickbooks company file may have some kind of a damage or something like that or the second possibility quick uh, that the QuickBooks software installation has some missing files or the installation has been damaged. So that's what we are going to see how we can fix this problem in order to make sure that your QuickBooks will continue to work in a proper way. So one of the very first steps is to delete the temporary internet file. So in order to do that, I will gonna go ahead and close QuickBooks and uh, as QuickBooks is closed, there is a command or we can say you need to open control panel on your computer computer I can show you control panel then go to network and internet option okay you will be able to find it here under network internet options here it is and then go to the general tab here it is general tab and uh, click on delete you will be able to see uh, just give me one second here it is delete okay it will gonna delete the temporary internet files cookies and list of websites you have visited it means history I will gonna say delete it is deleting all the history from my web browser and then click on apply and then click on out this is the one of the steps that we can do in order to fix this right the second major step that we need to take is to download quickbooks tool hub download quickbooks tool hub i created a dedicated video about it how you can download and install quickbooks tool hub onto your computer so i can show you quickly how you can download it or install it so just give me one second here all right and uh, in order to download the quickbooks tool hub i mentioned the video link as well okay to the below description box from where you can see how you can download it easily okay so you can see quickbooks tool hub is getting downloaded and once it is downloaded we need to click on this download in order to install it onto the computer and it is getting installed and here it may gonna take some time to install and let me click on finish oh sorry a next and then click on next oh uh, yes click on next and install so installation is about to be a and running here and i will choose launch quickbooks tool hub all right here we go so as your quickbooks desktop is freezing up on your computer there are chances that this is something related to your software issue so what we need to do we need to go to program problems then we need to click here quickbooks program first you can click on quick fix my program when you run quickbooks tool hub please ensure your quickbooks desktop is not open you need to close quickbooks desktop then click on quick fix my program it will gonna take some time uh, as i said okay it will gonna like make a pause on the background services of quickbook okay it will not gonna create a big problem for you but this is what you can also do if you really do not want to take these steps by yourself you can also contact me i generally help my clients with these kind of issues as well and uh, once you run quickbooks uh, quick fix my program then you can do one thing you can close quickbooks tool hub reopen your quickbook and 
and try to run your QuickBooks for like 30 minutes at least. Try to work on it. Try to create invoices, send the invoices, do the work which you would like to do. And if you still believe that QuickBooks is still having the same problem, it is still freezing up. So you need to go back. I mean, you need to close QuickBooks, then come back to QuickBooks Tool Hub. And then here, uh, let's wait for this one. Go back to Program Problems and then run QuickBooks Program Diagnostic Tool. Okay, this is what we need to run. It will going to take some time to run the files on the background. It will going to do all the background check by itself and it will going to help you to fix this problem. In case if these steps does not work out for you, we will going to follow with the further troubleshooting. So let's like, let's wait for this one to get complete and then we will going to move forward from it. All right. So here, all right, it is taking some time. So I will continue this video once this process is completely com completed. Okay. All right. As you can see uh, that QuickBooks installation or the diagnostic tool has been, it is ran onto the computer and you can see it says 100% complete. Click on OK. All right. And then afterwards, you need to suppress your QuickBooks. All right. Or what does it mean? Like uh, suppress your QuickBooks means you need to open your QuickBooks without opening the company file. Sometimes, as I mentioned, this problem can be happening because of the company file issues. So in order to see if the this problem is happening with the software or with your company file. You need to suppress your QuickBook and in order to do that, press and hold the control and shift keys together, both of the keys together and make a double click on the QuickBooks desktop icon and do not release the keys until your QuickBooks is open. And once you are able to see this window, just release the control and shift keys and then go to help, update QuickBooks desktop, update now, choose this option, reset update and click on get update and then click on OK. All right. I will not going to do that because I have already done this. So you need to do this. And once this process is completed, once you've done it, close your QuickBooks and reopen it again and see if your QuickBooks is working fast or if it or if it is still having the same problem. And if it's still having the same problem, we can go to the next step is to repair the company file. I already created a dedicated video how you can repair your QuickBooks company file when i say repairing a quickbooks company file it means running a quickbook a tool which is an inbuilt tool into the quickbooks here that is known as verified data and rebuild so let's say you did all the steps before and still your quickbooks is freezing up when you're working on it it could be a possibility with the company file that having some issues so in order to check if your quickbooks company file is having issues with it so just go to file menu click on utility and then click on verified data then click on ok and it will gonna start checking first it will gonna verify your data integrity if there is any problem going on with the data file or something like that and then we will gonna rebuild the data as well okay as it says QuickBooks detected no problems with your data and sometimes let's say you got a problem issue like somehow QuickBooks detected some problem so there would be an option for you is to rebuild the company file okay you just need to click on that otherwise you can go to file menu utilities and then you can click on rebuild data so rebuild data will not going to create a problem for you or it will not going to create a, like it will not going to go ahead and uh, delete something from your quickbooks company file no it will gonna have all the information there it will gonna check all the possible check for you in order to make sure that we uh, you do not have any issues you have some problem the rebuild process will going to fix it automatic and here you can see as it says rebuild has completed then we need to click on view results and you will be able to see any errors found. It says issues found zero. If you have any issues, it will gonna mention all here in the below onto this window. Okay. So here, this is one of the steps which you can take in order to make sure that uh, your QuickBooks does not have any company file issues. Otherwise, there is one more option for you is to like uh, go ahead and uh, repair your QuickBook installation. Sometimes, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, sometimes this problem also happens because of the damaged installation in order to make sure that it does not have the damaged installation so you need to go to control panel we are going to repair the installation as well and then we need to go to you can say give me one second here uh, programs and features and then we can go to here quickbooks pro like i'm using quickbooks pro 2019 let's say you are using 2024 or 2023 you can just click on that and then click on here uninstall and change and then click on yes okay it will not going to do the un 
uninstallation now we just need to choose this option and then click on next now here we are getting two options one is repair and second one is remove repair we're going to repair all the possible problems which exist into your software and remove we're gonna like completely remove the quickbooks desktop from your computer so for this purpose we are going to repair it we will gonna choose repair then click on next and then we will gonna click on repair i also created a dedicated video how to repair the quickbooks installation so i also mentioned the same video link below in the description you can go ahead and check it out as well all right so as of now you can see here one more thing like it asks you to turn off some of the basic application we just need to choose let this option selected automatically close and attempt to restart application and then click on okay all right so i was telling you like uh, just in case you are not really confident to take these steps you can contact me anytime my uh, website link is mentioned below here in the description along with my phone number along with my email address you can contact me anywhere either on email or on the phone and i will be there to help you out okay and uh, as you can see quickbooks desktop is getting installed at the moment uh, i mean uh, it is getting repaired at the moment it will gonna take like few minutes to repair it okay so once it is completely repaired i will be back to you and then we will gonna move forward with this video all right all right as you can see the quick uh has successfully repaired okay so let's click on finish once you click on finish you need to restart your computer in order to make sure it will gonna apply all the changes which was been done during the repairation process okay so once you restart it open uh, your quickbook and see if it is working out for you i mean if it is not freezing up or if it is not crashing so if it is doing that that's a good thing these uh, like steps will really help you out but just in case it doesn't help you out like uh, as i mentioned like you can contact me i'm a bookkeeper i also help you with these kind of issues uh, i have done this uh, for so many years and i know how these technology uh, technologies work with the quickbooks desktop and uh, if there is a need sometimes it has also been seen uh, with my existing clients that uh, after doing the repairation it is not seems to be getting fixed up so we need to uninstall and reinstall the quickbooks from the desktop uninstall and reinstall the quickbooks uh, desktop will not going to remove the data and this is the reason we created a file backup or the company file backup in the very beginning just to put ourselves on the safer side okay i mean on the on the company file on the safer side so we are doing all these kind of a work so your company data will be on the safer side okay so that's how you can fix this issue and if it's still running onto your computer you can contact me and i will be there to help okay i would like to mention one last thing here that uh, i provide bookkeeping services to small businesses as well in case you're looking for some kind of a basic bookkeeping services you can contact me sorry this is my website this is my phone number like you can contact me on this phone number in case i'm not able to answer your call please drop your voicemail and i will reach out to you as soon as possible and the last thing this is my email you can also drop me an email and i will revert to you back as soon as possible so this video was all about how you can fix quick work take off freezing up issues if you have any doubts any questions or if this video works out for you please Please give a video a thumbs up uh, do subscribe my channel and if you know someone who really in need of quickbooks assistance or help or with the quickbooks bookkeeping or help please do refer my information my contact information is also mentioned in the description below you can copy that and share it with them so that was it for this video i will see you in the next one bye bye have a good day